Hey, what's up? Hello, everybody. It's your favorite girl in the world, Danielle, and you're watching You Oughta Know. You Oughta Know is a video series dedicated to telling you the things that you ought to know, no matter what the subject matter is. Today, you're lucky enough to join me with plus size blogger Kelly B. And she tells us what things we need in our closet right now to help us transition from summer into fall. So my blog is called And I Get Dressed and uh, it's really just a place for me to express my own personal fashion sense. And so it's me wearing clothes, it's me talking about trends that I like, it's fashion, it's beauty. So I'm talking, I don't claim to be like a beauty expert, I have some blogger beauty friends who are like, can tell you the formulations of everything. It's just me trying things that I like, <clears throat> um, talking about colors that I like, and also a lot of lifestyle. I travel, so I've been putting that on my blog a lot more. Very excited to do more things in that area. So yeah, it's, it's a blog for everybody. I am plus size, so I talk a lot about plus size fashion, but I think style transcends size, and so my blog is really for everybody. <laughs> what are your five favorite end of summer pieces? And how should we wear them? I think that what makes a good summer dress is something that you can transition into fall. And so, chambray is been in, chambray is a fancy word for kind of a lightweight denim. Um, it's been in fashion for the last couple of years. I mean, it's, it's actually really classic, so it's been in style forever, but it's been more sort of popular for the last couple of years. And I'm wearing this dress from ASOS, and it's from ASOS Curve. And what I love about it is like, I always love a dress with pockets. So also something that has a good enough weight that I can wear it through the fall. I can add tights and boots. I can add, <clears throat> you know, layers. I can layer something under. I can layer something over. This would be pretty badass with a leather jacket over, as is everything. Um, but I love that it adds this level of like, sort of undisconstructed, casual cool. This skirt. I bought this skirt so many years ago. It's Anne Klein. I got it from Saks when Saks was good to us fat girls. But it's perfect because it's easy to transition. So continue with the bare leg sexy uh, shoe theme and add like a chunky knit, add a button down top and another like thin silk sweater. I'm really into silk because that's why I am. If it's later in the season, so it's fall or winter, I'm gonna add jewel tones. Like a jewel tone blue, like cobalt blue or Lapis, I'm gonna add, you know, like um like a burgundy or an oxblood, make it kind of just more rich. So this is a lace and crochet um, moto jacket, and so it's really cool. Um, it goes so well over everything. I, um, if you saw me in the Eloquy Midi Moment ads, um, I did a black crop top and a black um, bodycon skirt. That was a mini length. It looks super chic, very cute. Add a little bit of layers and it's good for fall. It's a fade. You know, what's great about this is like, it's a statement skirt, so you really can just do anything with it. I wore this with actually a tie front knot t-shirt and a denim jacket. Um, I'm gonna wear it with leather jackets when it gets colder. I'm gonna wear it with, um, like I said, a lido top. I'm gonna wear it with a sweater. I'm gonna go crazy and wear it as much as I want. It's really fun, it kind of makes a statement. It's feminine, but it's not hyper girly. And that's kind of where I consider myself in terms of fashion, like modern, minimal, feminine, but not super girly. This is good because it's scuba. And so scuba is kind of a heavier weight, but because it's a flowy skirt, it doesn't matter that the weight is a bit heavy because it's not gonna make you hot, but it does work for fall so that you're not like looking like you're in some flimsy fabric and cold and crazy. So this is kind of the must. So sleeveless blazers were huge last season. They remain huge this season. So you're gonna see sleeveless blazers. You're gonna see sleeveless trench coats. Need that, so I'm gonna do it inside that. Um, this is absolutely perfect. You can wear it with pants and a skirt, with bodycon, with midi style, with something more flowy, with shorts, with leather pants. You can go absolutely crazy. I saw it, I knew I needed it, and I've had it for like a year and a half, and I've probably worn it at least 40 times. 
Like, and every time I wear it, people think, oh my God, where'd you get that? I'm like, it's the same thing you just saw. But I just kind of get a little bit inventive with how I style it so that I'm not like running it into the ground. Sleeveless blazers and jackets, find them now. And that's labeled with like those sad little sh sh shrug, snugs, what are those called? Shrug. Shrugs are sad. Like, don't ever do it. If it has a ruffle, like, throw it away, go home, meditate, reassess your life, read the Bible, call a friend, like, cook, you know, do all the therapeutic things you need to do to never do that to you. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. So fun. Love you, Danny. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. This is the first installment of You Ought to Know featuring Kelly B and all the things that we need in our wardrobe to transition from summer into fall. Stay tuned for more episodes of You Ought to Know.